Hey all my movie maniacs out there, it's that time, it is I, and today we've got another independent horror short for you. It's called Farmer's Daughters. It's part of the Closed Casket Anthology film that'll be put together soon, and basically Farmer's Daughters tells us the story of a traveling vacuum cleaner salesman who comes upon a farmhouse and thinks this is going to be an easy sell, but he gets more than he bargains for, and this story of the Farmer's Daughters does not play out like any fantasy or any joke you may have heard before. It's definitely got its own twist to this uh, classic cliche uh, situation. Now, uh, this is a horror comedy, so there are a lot of comedic moments worked in here with the uh, uh, horror elements as well. And for me, it took a little while to get what they were going for on it. Um, but I did enjoy it once I once I was like, oh, okay, that's what we're doing here. Because they kind of intersperse uh, infomercial type segments in with the events of what's happening at the farmhouse. And uh, I like that once I realized, okay, this is what we're going to do here. And it did add kind of to the humorous moments because you got kind of the, uh, the sleazy salesman guy who's, you know, kind of suave. And then you cut to a scene where he's tied to a bed naked and getting taken advantage of by the farmer's daughters in various ways. So it was was a great uh, 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 transition between those two and, and you know the uh, uh, juxtaposition if you will between the two uh, scenes so I really like that wow that was a big word and that hurt uh, but, uh, the performances in here especially by Marco Adams was really great as that sleazy salesman type of guy he played that well but uh, the ladies in here as well do a great job of making each of their characters their own. Even though we've got a group of farmer's daughters, each one has their own characteristics, their own quirks and their own tastes in what they like to do to a guy and we see what that happens and then the story really as it rolls along starts to get a little darker, a little more uh, twisted and then by the end you go Holy crap, it definitely was a holy crap moment when uh, we get to the kind of finale of the film. So, well, it, it was well edited, uh, it was humorous, and I was entertained by this. Some great performances by all, uh, Ellie Church is in this, Angela Denton, Sarah Ares, uh, Bridget uh, McCulkey, Duncan Myford, everybody is having fun in the roles they're in. You can tell this was just a fun movie to watch. Uh, it likens itself uh, cross between uh, Wes Craven and John Waters, and I have to say that is an accurate assumption. It definitely kind of has that twisted psychosexual feel that you might get from a John Waters film, but also the creepiness, especially near the end of the darkness, that you get out of a West uh, uh, Craven film. So definitely a, a proper assessment of this film, and I really think you should check it out if you get a chance to. Uh, check out, it's called Closed Casket Anthology, should be coming out soon. Check out Facebook, and definitely uh, go over to the Facebook page of Farmer's Daughters, and let the know what you thought of the film if you get a chance to catch it somewhere. It should be, uh, I think, hitting the festival circuit as well. And uh, I look forward to seeing what else uh, this group can come out with because so far they've uh, brought some entertaining shorts. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stub.